from one of the longest days of the year. Welcome to Smoky Goodness 2.0 and welcome also to what I've decided I'm going to be doing annually every year. I did this last year and I've done it a few times prior to that. Not necessarily annually, but it's going to be annual now. Uh, another entry into the Keith Betag Never Ending Popper Challenge. So uh, where have you been there, Mr. Smoky Goodness Guy? I'll tell you what, I hate the <coughs> oak trees. <laughs> I hate them. Uh, we were on vacation. We got back about a week ago. During that time, and then prior to that, I had a couple of storms blow through here, which uh, brought down branches on these trees. You know how it is. Some of those branches did major damage to our roof, so uh, we're having our roof replaced. We've been on the phone every day with contractors and insurance agents and everything else, you know, homeowners insurance and all that crap it's just a cluster <laughs> but uh, we're gonna be having that taken care of another home improvement project that may be going on here is uh, this deck my stage squirrels are tearing it apart once again these fucking oak trees I hate these things yeah the squirrels been down here they're digging all over the place they're chewing on the railing I fully expect one of these days I'm going to be out here with a camera running. I'm going to fall right through this thing. <laughs> Hope that doesn't happen. Anyway, ingredients will be announced as they come into play. Not necessarily all ingredients will be announced. Some of them will just be posted down here, right along here, okay? Saves me a ton of work. It's Keith Betag's Never Ending Popper Challenge. This is going to be a good one. Oh, by the way, everything began with two single flames just about 10 minutes ago. I'm in a hurry, so, all right, stick around. Remember this thing? The Vidalia Chop Wizard, had it for years. Actually, you know, I think I'm gonna start calling this thing the granddaddy of all Chopomatic. Chopomatic Senior, something like that. Sorry, Corey, but <laughs> don't mean to steal your thunder here. We'll just call it Chopomatic Senior.
say they don't have to look pretty. They just have to taste good. We're gonna put them over here. This grill is running right now at about 350 to 375. And I uh, just adjusted the vents, so we're gonna bring it down a little bit. Everything is pre-cooked except for the bacon on here. So, and here's a straggler. <laughs> straggler gets his own place on the stage. Shut up, motorcycle. All right, like I say, we're going to uh, cook these indirect uh, for as long as it takes the bacon to, uh, you know, kind of cook through, maybe get a little crispy. I'll probably put them on a final, final sear or so. And I'm going to have to add some more coals a little bit later on because Mrs. Smoky Goodness has pork belly, a whole pork belly. She scored it, seasoned, it looks good, it looks really good. Uh, that's going to go on the grill as soon as these come off, so kind of in a hurry. Okay, we've been going about 90 minutes mission elapsed time, indirect, low and slow. I think these things are just about ready to come off, they're smelling good. Like I said, they don't have to look pretty, they just have to taste good. Woo! Tell you what, like I said, they aren't pretty, but do they ever smell good? I'm going to put them on a very quick final sear, and this will just be seconds. A little bit of char flavor, and I've got a renegade sausage strip here that's looking pretty good. Oh man, I forgot to mention these are maple flavored. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. I don't have the monitor pointed at me, but these are maple flavored as is the bacon, all maple flavored. So uh, the maple combined with all the other flavors we've got going on here, would be outstanding. And not in the field either. <laughs> all right, bring these inside. We're gonna let them rest for a little while and we're gonna eat. Testing, one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs>